Everyone today, Jesus defines love for us. As the Father loved me, I too have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my instructions, you will remain in my love, just as I kept my Father's instructions and remain in his love. I've said these things to you so that my joy will be in you and your joy will be complete. This is my instruction. Love each other just as I have loved you. No one has greater love than to give up one's life for one's friends. You're my friends when you do what I instruct you. I don't call you servants any longer because servants don't know what their master is doing. Instead, I call you friends because everything I heard from the Father, I've made known to you. You didn't choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you could go and produce fruit and so that your fruit could last. As a result, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. I give you these instructions so that you can love each other. I think it's kind of interesting that in the other three Gospels, we get what are usually called the greatest commands, uh, as in the greatest commands in, in the Old Testament law, right? That this is what God has always been about, to love God fully and to love your neighbor as yourself, or do unto others as you would have them do to you. But then you get to John, and Jesus says uh, that he's giving a new command. That's, that's how he described it back in chapter 13, but... New really means more like to renew, to, to go even deeper into what was always God's intent. And so here it's not just love as you yourself would want to be loved, but to love as Jesus does. And he says that when we can love that fully, it makes us into Christ's friends, which, you know, maybe sounds a little odd. Some of that is that we kind of downplay friendship, you know, it, it matters to us, but we don't put it at the same status as, you know, true love. But the word that Jesus uses here for friends is is a love sort of word. It's not inferior to, to other forms of love. And at times, uh, John will use uh, different words interchangeably. But the idea of being friends with God, with Jesus, doesn't that seem kind of strange? It feels like it's too equal. You know, loving God as a parent or as king or Lord, well, that makes sense. That feels natural. But And also there is, you know, this requirement here to follow Jesus' instructions. Kind of sounds like, you know, maybe you remember on the playground when someone's like, all right, I'll be your friend if you do all these things for me. But I think that's not really what Jesus is talking about. It's this mystery of when we humbly lower ourselves in love, we are raised in equality to, with Christ and friendship. I mean, following his instructions just means that we naturally love each other as he does. The more you do it, the less it seems like some sort of command, and it's what you want to do for the people you love. Eventually it becomes second nature. It's what you do for friends, and that's where we meet Jesus. So, today, how can you be a good friend to him?